Yeah, like a week later, the Harry is like taking pictures of me like in lingerie with my bruises and like, we're not going to call this domestic violence. We're just, we're going to turn this, if you will, into sort of a kinky erotic thing. I had seen like even like another local ad for like this local bondage producer. And I had like seen that work and it freaked me out. But there was something even, if you will, like about that, that fear of it and how it was completely different even than like anything I had like previously experienced it was different I didn't feel so shall we say like commodified right off the bat I had met this local girl she was a local dominatrix and she just sort of like really sat me down was just like you need to understand like the world you're going into you are essentially going into like a tyrant's lair what really really mattered in the bondage world at the time was how well you could suffer that's why even like some girls that maybe were a little less like conventionally attractive, it's like if they could take a lot of pain and a lot of abuse on camera, they were way more valuable. They want the suffering. And there was even something about financial extortion that took place where like even though I really didn't want to do porn anymore, like those last few shoots that I did, I had to do them like just for the money. So I think that, yeah, like one thing that was definitely drilled into me is that, again, like that suffering well was my primary talent, all right? That narrative had to start to be deconstructed. Where all of a sudden it's like, it's almost like my tolerance, if you will, for, shall we say, predatory people or grooming behavior or, again, like seeing people in more gentle, like denying, yeah, their criminal activity. Like, I, I just, I just lost, like, it's, it's almost like the tolerance dissolved overnight. And like, all of a sudden, it's like, I couldn't even stomach that kind of darkness or being around it. Are you happy? Oh gosh, am I happy? I, I like joy more than happy. Happy is a little capricious. I would say joy is a much more trustworthy and constant state. And I think it does feel a little bit like winning the lottery of life. But not just by pure chance, also, but, but also like indeed like starting to make the right decisions for once. What a novel idea. So, yeah, like I, yeah, and, and yeah, joyful. I'm very fulfilled and, and joyful.